This is a demonstration of my Linux desktop. First of all, there's an application menu, which has all the installed software that I use. There is more software, but I have it hidden in this menu so it doesn't clutter things up. Of course, you have your file system. You can go into your folder structure using this little applet here. And let's see what else. You know, this kind of stuff. Choose a folder, get a window, windows are wobbly. This is the video that's being recorded right now. That's why it's updating. And let's see what else. You can open multiple windows. So I'll open this one to the same location. Nope, kept the same window. Open a different location. There we go, got a separate window. You can tile them to the sides. You can make them take up the entire screen, pop back. Down here now, we have a selector, which one you want to choose. And so on. Besides these, besides the launcher here, which manages all your running programs and interfacing with the system, you have multiple desktops. There are four desktops. So one, one I started with, then these, these, and this one. You can drag windows between them and such like that. You can go into a desktop, come back out, go into another desktop, come back out, keyboard control, Come back out, so you have four desktops. The desktops are also a cube. So you got this kind of thing going here. You know, it's a cube. And then, within a desktop, if you have something like video, Pull the window out of maximization, bring it halfway, go in here, move around. Notice the video is updating because it's a proper compositor. Go back into here, let's go around. You can grab windows, you can use keyboard commands. You can unfold the cube. You can move with windows to other desktops. You can move to other desktops without going with the window. And in the cube, even video is properly composited so everything updates in real time. This system is a Linux system, of course, and it's based on a distribution called Arc Linux. Arc Linux makes no choices for you. You start with a command line, and you build up your choices from there. I happen to know exactly how to configure it, and if you're interested, I'll be happy to tell you all about it. Thank you.